Welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. This is Dylan Jones, and today I'm going to take a look at doing some clearance measurements utilizing the scan inspection tool uh, from some point cloud data. Uh, so to give you a glimpse of what I have here, I have some scan data, uh, point cloud from uh, an interchange, and uh, you can see I have this bridge, this overpass going over a busy intersection. So we scanned that intersection and I'm going to utilize the bridge information and the ground information to calculate uh, some clearances there. So um, first thing I need to do is kind of clean this up and create a couple regions. My first region is going to be my ground. My second region is going to be uh, really just the bottom of the bridge. Okay, so I'm going to um, kind of fast forward through that process and how I would go about uh, classifying the data uh, and then uh, come back here uh, once I hit the scan inspection tool. Okay, so I have my first bridge here. You can see that I've classified um, the bottom of the bridge, which are you know, my lowest points on that bridge, and then my ground region. So this is really all I need in order to perform my scan inspection. So I'm going to go into the scan inspection tool now. This is under the point cloud ribbon. I'm going to create a new um, scan inspection. So let's call this bridge a clearance Okay, um, it's going to be a scan to scan inspection type. My origin cloud is going to be my bridge bottom and my reference is going to be the ground. And uh, we want to make sure that we are able to calculate the bridge clearances, which could be up to 20 feet or so. I'm gonna just give myself some buffer room here on the maximum of, and set that to 25 feet and um, have that only be absolute distances. Then I can choose a uh, color map here if I wish. So let's just leave that at rainbow and I'm going to save that inspection. So essentially at this moment it is uh, comparing the bridge A bottom region to the ground region um, and calculating uh, some information there in regards to the, the differences or the deviation between those two regions and now we can go in and build our report. So on the report tab we can choose our inspection which is uh, our only one listed here um, and then here we can give it a name prefix. I'm going to give it a prefix of the letter A and then a hyphen and I've already created a, a CAD layer here, so my points that I'm about to create, those are going to go onto this clearance A layer. And now I can start picking some point coordinates here from, um, from the bottom of the bridge. Okay, so I'm going to just do this for mainly the travel lanes here. Just creating some points at uh, specific locations on um, the beams or the bottom of the bridge that I'm concerned about. Okay, and I could create as many as I want here on any of these um, beams, but I think that's good enough. That, that looks like it covers all of my travel lanes. And so now at this moment, I can create the report. One thing I'm going to do is just uh, fit the window to the point cloud or the point cloud to the window here um, as it's going to add the view to the report if I wish. So I could angle this any way that I want. Um, you know, if I want it to be something like that or like that, it's just kind of a reference image that it's going to take in and uh, put into the report. Okay, so now I'm going to create that report. Give it some time to calculate those deviations. Um, 
Looks like I need to just compute my project here really quick. And then a Word document is going to be created for your report. Um, there will be a table um, and a screenshot of that view. So here in my table, this is showing me the deviations between the, the two point cloud regions at those specific points. And I can see my, um, essentially my clearance is here now. Okay. So I get this uh, nice scan inspection report with my clearances um, uh, of the points that I uh, created. I can close the scan, the scan inspection tool. And now um, I have those clearances saved. Um, I would have, I would save this word document, of course. Um, now, a nice thing that it does is it creates these points. And if you look at the properties of the point, it will keep the, the deviation value here in the description. Uh, what it does is it actually keeps the metric uh, value, but at least it, it keeps some sort of value there for you to uh, come back to. Uh, within your TBC project. And if you were to export a CSV file uh, containing descriptions, uh, which is really easy to do, uh, you would get that deviation value in your CSV file. So it's just a nice way to complete some, uh, some clearances utilizing the scan inspection tool. Um, in this video, I was using version 5.80. Um, so to complete uh, this workflow, you just need a point cloud. You need to separate your point cloud into two different regions and then run that scan inspection tool on those regions. All right, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you learned something and uh, this was beneficial for you.